श्री ए राजा जी सर आई गॉन थ्रू दी डिटेल रिप्लाई दैट हेज बीन गिवन बाय द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर व्हेन आई अप्रिशिएट दी रियल एफर्ट्स बीइंग टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट टू रिड्यूस द लिटिगेशन इन द गवर्नमेंट साइड आई एम हैविंग वन क्वेश्चन एंड सजेशन एज वेल सर दिस पार्लियामेंट I think that Honourable Minister introduced a bill, mediation bill, that has been referred by the Honourable Speaker to the Standing Committee. The bill is being debated. The mediation bill, the way in which uh, it was piloted, uh, really is going to be a very big impact in the judicial system of our country, no doubt. But how it is workable, that is another question. It is being debated in the Parliamentary uh, Standing Committee. My suggestion is, you are going to devise a policy. This policy is. within the government or within the government and government boards but whereas mediation bill it is having universal it covers third party also in order to give you a policy which may not having any statutory binding any policy honorable minister knows it's a only policy if it is breached nobody can question it whereas i can suggest in the mediation bill such a adequate provision with the same motto same objective any specific provision is going to be incorporated in the mediation bill really it will reduce the litigation in this country i know a positive affirmative uh, message from the honorable minister question question is this incorporate any specific law instead of this policy it will be more effective sir uh, the honorable member uh, raja ji has a very good experience about the governance and we have uh, many constraints in terms of settling the cases and the total numbers of pendency in our country is rising very fast so government is very much concerned about this raising of cases that is why we are talking about the provisions of the alternative dispute resolution mechanisms so mediation bill which has been introduced and which has gone to the standing committee and which will come back and i'm sure the standing committee will really appreciate and they will deliberate in detail and come out with more concrete suggestions if any but i am very confident that mediation bill has been prepared in such a way that there are very few scopes for any criticism rather people will appreciate or if any they will add values to the provisions in the mediation bill the basic purpose of the mediation bill is to ensure that the pre litigation process in our country takes a wider scope because mediation is part of the indian ethos indian traditions and for ages for millennium mediation has been practiced in our society that is why raja ji's uh, uh, suggestion is very welcome it it is going to be a very comprehensive policy and within that all the provisions are taken care of and i don't want to tell in details about the provisions but if you go through the provisions of the mediation bill it is going to be appreciated wide across the section of uh, this honorable house as well as the, people of this country and i'm sure when we pass the mediation bill from this august house it will bring in lots of reforms in our society and especially it will give relief to the small time people who do not have the capacity or resources to go to the court and manage the entire process thank you shri pradyot borodoloi i would like to ask the honorable minister that on one hand there is a luxurious litigation superfluous cases and on the other hand there is a huge vacancies of judges in the high courts and tribunals uh, also stagnations in the judicial capacity uh, why is it that the government unable to provide affordable justice by regulating the exorbitant legal fees charged by the advocates and thereby actually is denying justice to the commoners and the arm litigants sir uh, the question posed by <coughs> my dear friend pradyut bodraji is very important is serious in nature also but at the same time there are constraints sir you know very well <coughs> it is very difficult for the government to put a cap or to regulate the court fees or the fees of the advocates i have stated in some of the public forum also that in our country it is very sad for the law minister to say this that some of the advocates are so expensive that it is a very difficult and beyond the common man's uh, affordable price but at the same time uh, in the advocates act also and i discussed with the bar council of india and i discussed with all the stakeholders 
that let us make sure that advocates and good lawyers are available to the uh, needy people. But at the same time, the legal aid program, the outreach program which is launched by the government of India through the Supreme Court, NALSA, the state legal service authorities up to the talukas, we are going with the motto that we must provide easy and accessible uh, services to the common people. At the same time, I also insist that the, the, uh, the uh, provisions of uh, uh, providing free legal aids and pro bono, some advocates should take up the cases free of course. That is why uh, the, the Honorable Supreme Court judges also they have been appealing that advocates, especially young advocates, should inculcate this culture of pro bono, provide free legal aids, or at the minimum cost, and the daily law and some other provisions which is launched by the government of India are actually reaching out to the people. I share the concern of the honorable member, and I'm going to drive it as a big campaign on the advice and blessings of the honorable prime minister. We must ensure that nobody is denied justice just because he cannot afford a good lawyer. Sri Kalyan Banerjee, you are sitting down. You are sitting down in your name. You are sitting down. और यूं भी माननीय सदस्य गणों में आपसे आग्रह करता हूं कोशिश करें कि बैठकर बोले सभी सदन के जो फ्लोर लीडर हैं राज्यसभा खाली पड़ी है ऊपर गिलेरी खाली पड़ी है मेरा आग्रह है सभी से कि वह कुछ कोविड गाइडलाइन जो हमने बनाई है उसकी पालना करें राज्यसभा में बैठें ऊपर भी बैठें मैं सभी फ्लोर लीडरों से यह आग्रह करना चाहता हूँ Kalyan ji, aapke pichu chod bitte. The Honorable Law Minister has said so many things. I appreciate all, everything. But the point remains in single one thing. Point remains, the vacancies are not being filled up, sir. You are saying that we are taking steps, inquiry, further inquiry, re-inquiry, all inquiry, inquiry, into inquiry, inquiry square. But the, there are the vacancies you fill up. All the high court judges vacancy, all the tribunals vacancy. You have given the reference of the income tax tribunal. What about CAT, Central Administrative Tribunal? No, nothing is functioning. Sir, I am not uh, making any complaint. You don't take it into otherwise. And don't be emotional so far. My telling is concerned. But I am concerned about the fact the vacancies are not being filled up, sir. Kindly do it. Uh, my uh, good friend Kalyan Benerji has uh, put up uh, certain questions and he has made uh, certain remarks also, uh, especially re with regards to the appointment of the judges. It is very difficult for me to pinpointedly answer the queries he's, which he has made. I have stated in the discussion which took place last time in this August House that government has a bounded duty to carry out some due diligence while appointing the judges. But we have a prescribed system here. But I know what honorable member is referring to. He is referring to a particular high court and particular names, which I am not uh, you know, ready to divulge the names here, nor I am here to indulge on this particular thing. But I can assure that if you can pick up the records of past many decades. How many judges are being appointed when I took over as Minister of Law Justice of this country? In last, since July up till now, how many judges are appointed in Supreme Court and how many judges are appointed in different high courts of the country? The Honorable Chief Justice of India has publicly stated and appreciated that the process has been the fastest ever since, uh, you know, last few decades. That is why let us appreciate that there are constraints and the delay, if any, is not because of the government do not want to appoint judges at a fast pace, but because there is a provision in the memorandum of the procedure and the collegium and the government, we are working in tandem and our effort is to fill up all the vacancies as fast as possible, but certain vacancies will always remain because there is a process when somebody retires, how the name comes from the collegium, from the high courts, how the process is done. So during this process, certain times do take, I admit that, but the system is such that I cannot just avoid the system.
Thank you.